Wiener Burger produces horizontally and vertically perforated clay bricks. These bricks are used to fulfill non-load bearing as well as load bearing construction needs. Porotherm horizontally perforated clay bricks enable high-rise construction at minimum dead loads. The porotherm bricks are 60% less than other walling material. Excellent thermal insulation which results in reducing energy consumption and green building concept. Let's now take a close look at the construction practices and tips while using Porotherm HP. Safety is always a priority, so ensure safety by wearing your safety gears. Unloading process. The Porotherm bricks are delivered in the form of strap bundles. In case of manual unloading, the straps have to be cut and bricks have to be unloaded and stacked at an even surface. Porotherm HP bricks are light compared to any other walling material, making it easy to carry. Preparation of work area and course planning. Identify the location of the wall to be constructed and mark the site as per the architectural plan. Ensure the work area is clean before laying the first course of the brick. Wet the porotherm brick before using. And use thick mortar as a leveling layer. Place the first course of brick above the leveling layer starting from one end. Then, referring the marking, tie a thread from one end of the column to the other end. Using a water level tube or plumb bob. Check the straightness of the brick masonry. If you require a brick smaller than a half brick, mark the location on the brick and then cut it to the exact size using a regular wet cutting machine. Fixing of windows and doors. Windows or doors can be fixed in two methods. Using a clamp or hold fast. Using a plastic anchor. For fixing a window, provide a sill of at least 50 mm and a lintel or beam bottom on top. Identify the location of the holdfast to be embedded in the masonry at the identified location. One brick is not placed to leave the space blank for fixing the holdfast later. The frame with the holdfast is aligned with the blank space and at right angles to the floor and concrete is cast. Embedding the holdfast in the blank space. Using a plastic sleeve anchor. At each alternative course, turn half brick vertically at the door and window jams. Using a drilling machine on rotary mode with a masonry drill bit, a hole is drilled on the half brick which is placed with the voids facing upwards. Match the hole in the window frame and the hole in the brick. A plastic sleeve anchor of required size is inserted through the window frame into the brick. Then drive a screw into the hole through the sleeve using a power tool. Conduiting in Porotherm. 
Mark the desired path and width of the conduit on the porotherm brick wall using an angle grinder. Cut a groove and further chase the groove using chisel and hammer. Conduits for electrical or plumbing are positioned in the cavity and repacked using mortar. Fixing of loads Loads are of three types, light, medium and heavy. Light loads are mirrors, photo frame, towel rod, wall hangings, paintings, etc. They should be fixed using a wooden peg of a length of 100 mm. Light load fixing procedure using a wooden peg with a nail or a screw. Drill a hole of a 10 mm diameter. Insert the wooden peg with the help of a hammer. Drive the nail or screw onto the wooden peg. Note, the drilling machine has to be used in rotary mode only. Medium and heavy loads are water geysers, split air conditioners, European water closets, wash basins, windows and doors etc. They can be fixed using plastic sleeve anchors or rack bolts. Medium and heavy loads fixing procedure using plastic sleeve anchors. By help of a drilling machine, drill a hole of appropriate diameter in the porotherm wall as per the anchor diameter. Insert the plastic sleeve anchor into the hole with the help of a hammer. Drive the screw through the plastic sleeve anchor into the wall by using a drilling machine. Note, the drilling machine has to be used in rotary mode only. Medium and heavy loads fixing procedure using rack bolt. By help of a drilling machine or chisel and hammer, create a hole. Fill the hole by using mortar concrete. Firmly insert the rack bolt into the mortar concrete. Let it set for 24 hours without disturbing the positioning of the rack bolt. Place the desired load or material onto the rack bolt and tighten the nut. Plastering method. Plastering on porotherm wall should be done with spatter dash. Spatter dash to be applied on a slightly wet masonry wall. It provides a uniform suction property for better addition of the plaster. A minimum of 24 hours curing is needed before the final plaster is applied. 